All right, so here's the deal. Action, Matt Green coming at you. I'm gonna be doing some different stuff. I'm gonna be pumping out production. I'm gonna increase the amount of videos that I'm putting out. I've got a couple things that I want this to help accomplish. For one, is I am trying to, I'm trying to perfect how I feel on camera, making videos and not doing what I've done in the past. To almost have a teaching stance on here. This is not a teaching channel. This is a channel. This is a channel where I document my life. These, these are my adventures. So, I recently lost a brother. He was a very important man in my life and still holds a, a very great presence. It's very hard to talk about, but I don't have enough of him. I don't have enough of him or my other brother or my sister or the rest of my family. And I document so much. So I'm just gonna increase, I'm just gonna increase how much I, I produce content and how much I put it on the YouTube. And I'm gonna be saving all of these, these videos. I'm gonna be saving every one of them so that I have it, so that my children have, I'm gonna have a documented life because of this. My children are gonna have something that they can look back on, something that they can go to to have me if they have me and I have them so then when things happen you can be you can have something to help you cope with it having something to help you cope with it is a lot more important than, than you can imagine because as much as I don't want to sit and look at photos and videos of my brother I do I do I want to look at the wedding Mine and Jessica's wedding because he was my best man. And and why do you choose someone to be your best man if they are not your best man? So I'm going to increase how much content I create. I've got a watch hours goal I want to meet in order to become monetized because I want this to help pay for the adventures that I want to enjoy in life. I don't want to miss out on anything. I want to take my family places they've never been and I want to go to places we've not, none of us have been and do it together, experience that together.
every now and then you gotta like check stuff like is that tire low you know feels okay the inside tire feels okay I checked the lights this morning we got lights everything's good this tire feels okay that tire feels okay yeah it feels good that's good. Right, we're good to go. Ah. All them dang miles. Whew. Yeah. Jeez. 450,000? Lunchtime. Hope everybody's doing well. This used to be a super peaceful place to eat or to just do anything. I live at the base of the Smoky Mountains and I don't know, you might have 30 seconds between cars now, which used to be five minutes. I'm drowning my sorrows with food. I lost my brother on the 12th of August. And since then, I've been eating like a madman. I feel like it's your diet that suffers the most when something traumatic happens and you become emotional. You stop eating like normal. You don't drink enough water. And then you, and then you start to feel bad and you don't know why because you don't think that you've changed anything up in the last few days and you really have. So, I've learned a lot since losing my brother is that I would much rather cope with eat, by eating food, but I for sure know that I'm coping by eating food. So I gotta set a limit to that or it'll become unhealthy. And then I've let a problem create a problem and that's not good. And I also learned that I'm definitely still I'm emotionally still a small child I really probably have not grown up at all I am I was not prepared for this magnitude of loss um, I have some type of disdain for work right now obviously I'm still doing it then you can't just walk away from work I just have an issue because everybody in my family they work so hard and I just know there were places my brother wanted to see and didn't because work either got in the way or he didn't have enough money or it just didn't pan out so 
I'm rolling around with work right now. I've always, I've been doing YouTube for 10 years and have tried to become a YouTuber for 10 years. And that is my dream job, is to travel around and action map. But I gotta set a limit to some of these things that I understand are coping mechanisms. So I'm gonna, today is gonna be my last day that I eat like this. I got an Asia cafe. I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna go finish work. And then I'm gonna continue to grind. I've got a live stream that I leave up. That's the sky and some, some uncopyright music. If you guys wanna check that out, but you guys wanna help me get there to my dream job, you can like share comment and uh i'm gonna do my brother some justice and i'm gonna go see everything i can in the whole world wherever i can go and i'm gonna take him everywhere with me when i go so let's finish our lunch and go back to work Stretch it out a little bit, you know? Don't stretch it with you guys, kid. You can stretch more, uh, but... You should stretch more. Well, we're headed to the last one. Like 150 down, 154 or something like that. We had two or three new ones today. So, coming out of Ware's Valley in the Gray Smoky Mountains. Right? This place is effing beautiful. But unfortunately, if you're planning to come live here, there's no room. We only have room for visitors, just so everybody knows. But today is a trash day, and we're about to be at the last stop. I'll see you there. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna keep on making them. So I'm gonna keep on documenting my life. That's exactly how I'm gonna do it. So, hopefully everybody enjoyed it. And, last bag right here. See you guys.